Hi, I'm Kyle Brown, undercarriage specialist, and today we're going to talk about undercarriage maintenance. Excavators work in a variety of materials at a variety of angles. Hardness, moisture, and operating stresses can all accelerate undercarriage wear. One of the best ways to extend undercarriage life is proper maintenance. It's important to select the right undercarriage from the start. To do that, you need to ask yourself some key questions. How long will I own the machine? How many hours a week will I use the machine? What are my typical ground and soil conditions? What are my impact conditions? What are my attachments on the machine? And what are the grades and slopes that are typical on my job site? Caterpillar knows that every job has different needs and underfoot conditions. Therefore, Caterpillar has multiple offerings of undercarriage designed to fit your machine and those conditions. All come as complete systems or as components. Since undercarriage is a big investment, I highly recommend you consult with your cat dealer. They have the tools and the deep expertise to help you select the undercarriage that best matches your needs. Now let's talk about maintenance. Maintenance is the best way to lower your owning and operating cost, get the longest life out of your undercarriage, and prevent failures. Here we have a 320 hydraulic excavator, and to get the most life out of your undercarriage, you want to do a daily walk around. And here are the steps needed to do that. First, you're going to want to check to make sure that you don't have any pins that are drying up. A dry joint will start to show with some metal, shiny metal in between the joints. You'll also be able to tell by shoe separation. Another thing you want to check for is make sure all your track hardware is there. Lastly, we want to check your sprockets and check for any bending, breaking, or cracking. Make sure all the hardware is there for the sprocket. What we're looking for on the shoe hardware is all the nuts and bolts and make sure every hole's got a nut and a bolt in it. Same with on the sprockets. They're bolted up onto the final drive and we want to make sure every piece is there. Depending on the material you're in and the size of the machine, the flotation of your shoes takes a lot of wear on your track link assemblies. So you don't want too wide of a shoe in a strong underfoot condition. You want a wide shoe for a soft underfoot. With a wider shoe traveling over rocks, you will send force to the link and start to prematurely fail joints. One of the things that I tell operators all the time is just really make sure when you're using the stick, you're digging towards the idlers. You never want to dig back towards the sprockets. This is what drives the machine. This is what balances the machine. Never want to dig over where you're driving. You can really hurt the machine. One thing you want to check on when you're doing your maintenance checks is that your tracks are too tight or too loose. Tension on your tracks will accelerate wear if it's over tension or under tension. Very important that the slack in your track is correct. The way we measure on an excavator is we run a tape across five links. Once you find your measurement, you put it into CTS and it'll calculate your wear percentage. CTS stands for Custom Track Services. If you're unfamiliar with that, contact your local cat dealer. Don't forget, you can get extra bottom line protection with CVA plans, which offer maintenance cost per hour guarantees. Contact your dealer with questions, and remember that proper maintenance will help you lower operating costs and get the most life out of your undercarriage. Mm -hmm.